Welcome back, dear friends. Now I'd like to continue our series of the hub. The box would be one of fun box series.、Uh, to be exact, this is a scripty kitty. Of course, we don't want to be that one. And、uh, I will put the link into the description section below, so you can download the image from this address. And before we start today's video, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate your help and support. Let's get started. To save time, I have already imported the virtual machine into the virtual box, and now I'd like to enter into the virtual machine of Canon Linux. And、uh, I have already done the map scanning. From a map scanning results, as you can over as you can see over here, there's some、uh, open ports. The first one is twenty one, which runs FTP, and、uh, also the version of this、uh, FTP service is is displayed over here. And I remember this version does have some sort of vulnerabilities, and we can exploit. And the next one. Is twenty two, which runs SSH service. Of course, as we know, this version of SSH doesn't have any vulnerability. And next one is twenty five, which runs SMTP, and eighty, which runs HTTP. And next one is one one zero, which runs POP three,、uh, for the email uh, uh, protocol. And the next one is one hundred and thirty line, and one hundred forty three for the IM map, and the last one is four four five, which runs also the Samba. So,、uh, normally for me, of course, it depends on、uh, different guys.、Uh, if I I can know from the IM map scanning result, the target has. The Samba or SMB service running. I always the first thing I will do is to some emulation to see whether we can、uh, get some files or some other information from the Samba service. And the two I'd like to use is SMB client, and we can input the password of our Canon Linux. Yes, there are some share names, but this is the default share. And、uh, I can tell you, we cannot、uh, utilize this share to for our purposes. Okay, and also we can use the enum for Linux to make some more emulation, which will be related to the Samba service. Normally, these two will give us the user name, the possible user names. Of the target, I I think you have already seen this information like here, the bill. So I I think we can put,、uh, and also we can make note of this information onto our mouse pad, in case we want in the in the future. And now, and we have done all necessary emulations for the Samba service. And now we can go back, or we just cut the map scanning results again. And we have already done the、um, the Samba surface, and now we need to go into the another surface, which is FTP. And we have already, of course, this、uh, FTP surface in this case doesn't allow anonymous login, but the version is here. We can check whether this version have some sort of vulnerability, and、uh, just I mentioned earlier, we can use the search. Yeah, I can auto complete this command. Yes, the results tell us the this version one dot three dot three c does have vulnerability, and the I I I think you can. Make notice of the second one, and the second one is the 
It means we can maybe can use the Metasprite, Metasprite, and some sort of module which can help us to to get the foothold. Okay, so now let's fire up our Metasprite by MSF console. Excuse me. So now the Metasprite is starting. Okay, and we can search the Pro FTPD, and、uh, I think the fifth one, this one, is just what we are looking for. Okay, so we can use this module. We just、uh, copy and paste in here, and also we need to set the payload. And we can use the tab, and we can use tab to help us to options what we can choose, and we can use the reverse, okay? And we can show options to see which fields we need to configure. Of course, the first one is local host. We can configure our Kali Linux into this field. And also, I'd like to change the local port to another port number, which is five five five. Of course, you can configure what whatever you wish, okay, or whatever you are comfortable. It doesn't matter at all. And we also need to set the our hosts. And a host is okay. And、uh, we. Need to go over all fields again, or options again. I think we have already configured all required option, and now we just、uh, input run and hit enter. Yeah, now is sending backdoor command. I think it's working. Yeah, command shell session opened, and now we can、uh, confirm by input the command ID. Yeah, <laughs> actually we we got the root shell. We do not need to elevate a privilege. We are already root users. Root user, excuse me, and we can go to the root directory. List the content of this directory and cut root flag. Okay, so I think this virtual machine is very easy. Is the at the beginner level, but、uh, anyway, I'd like to show you and how to use the meta sprite for our purpose. Maybe we can also、uh, do this manually,、uh, rather. Rather than the meta sprite, but、uh, as you can see, if we use the meta sprite, the process of exportation would be so much easier, so much easy. Okay, so that's all I'd like to demonstrate in this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.